Oh, good morning. It's Councillor Glenn here, and I'm here at Rouncey Park in the Fernbank area, where I think you can see there's a, a beautiful skating rink. I think this is the first year for the skating rink here. Um, over that way, there's a great toboggan hill, and I know a lot of uh, kids and families have been using the skating rink in the toboggan hill. And I wanted to say thank you for everybody for respecting the 25 person limit on skating rinks, on toboggan hills, and other outdoor recreation areas. It's important that we all get out and get some exercise and do that in a safe way. So that's a 25 person limit under the current restrictions. Um, the other thing about skating is um, stormwater management ponds. I know there's some uh, people who've created some informal rinks on stormwater management ponds. Just be really careful there. You're not supposed to be skating on those ponds. Uh, there can be fluctuating water levels because they actually ha carry a stormwater function. You can get some runoff of road salt and, and things like that uh, in, in the water as well that can affect the quality of the ice. So stick to the rinks that you see in your local uh, neighborhood park rather than the stormwater management ponds. It is a bright, sunny, cold day. Uh, so I'll give you a quick update this morning. Um, I wanted to start about COVID and schools, and uh, I know a lot of parents uh, were very hopeful that schools would be able to return next week. We're seeing some very good trends in terms of Ottawa's COVID numbers. And uh, I just want to say uh, I, I support returning to schools as quickly as possible. There's a, a, a phrase you often hear used that uh, schools should be the last thing to close and the first thing to open. We can uh, send kids back and, and we can make the environment safe. We can be doing uh, better screening. We can be doing rapid testing. Uh, we can be doing better contact tracing. And I think as we saw in the fall, um, schools are a very safe environment. We did not see a lot of transmission happening in Ottawa schools. So I really hope we can get students back to school as soon as possible. I know how it's affecting families and parents and guardians. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to put in anything close to a real work day when you have young kids at home trying to learn at the same time. So uh, it is something that I support. I know uh, Ottawa Public Health was uh, recommending to the province that uh, Ottawa was ready to have school kids go back to school, but unfortunately the province has uh, not, uh, not made that decision yet. So we'll wait this week and see what happens. Um, I also want to remind people on the COVID front, support a local business. Uh, they are struggling so badly. There's some new data out this week about the impact of, of the pandemic on small business, and it, it, is, it is an awful picture. Uh, so if you have a chance this weekend, if, if you're spending some money on eating out, pick a locally owned business, uh, pick a store, do some curbside pickup at a local store. A lot of them have, have pivoted to online sales, and it's really important that we support our local business community here in Stittsville. Uh, so that when we do get beyond the shutdown and, and the pandemic starts to sub subside that uh, we can start to rebuild and, and we have all of our favorite favorite businesses still here and healthy uh, we had some snow this week and another winter parking ban overnight i want to remind residents um, you can sign up at ottawa.ca to get email or text alerts whenever there's a winter parking ban i usually give a reminder on social media but even better if you can get it right on your phone or in your email box um, even if there's not a winter parking ban, please take your cars off the street. It just makes everything easier for the snow clearing equipment uh, and uh, it'll, it'll make you a better neighbor as well. So take your car off the street during a winter storm. Uh, the city is doing a big review of winter quality management. Uh, that's a, a bureaucratic word for how we clear snow after big snowfalls. And there's some surveys and feedback forums right now at engage.ottawa.ca. So if you have some thoughts, some complaints and so on about um, about how you'd like to see snow clearing change in our city, this is a way that you can get in touch. That's engage.ottawa.ca. Uh, thank you to residents who showed up last week uh, on our virtual meeting for 5618 Hazeldean Road. This is a strip of land just east of Iber between Abbott and Hazeldean. Uh, plan a subdivision, one of the last pieces of land, big pieces of land in the Fernbank area to go through the process. So thanks to residents who uh, were there for that one. You can find a video from that meeting on my YouTube page. Uh, on the February 4th, I believe it is, we have a meeting about 521 Brigantine. This is about Madame's uh, plan to uh, rejig what their plans are for development on the old storm water management pond. We're finalizing a date, I believe it's the second week of February, for a public meeting about the station. This is the uh, project on Stittsville Main Street across from Quitters, so watch for a date to be announced this week on that one. And the big thing that I'm uh, focused in on this week at City Hall is the, um, the official plan. Uh, we are, are looking at the next step of that, which is choosing which pieces of land 
are going to be part of future expansion. So last uh, spring, we decided that based on population growth in Ottawa, we're growing from a million to 1.4 million people. We're gonna accommodate those people through a mix of intensification, so building within the current urban boundary, uh, and a little bit through expansion. And on expansion, we need just under 1,300 hectares of land. So this week, we're going to decide where those first 1,000 hectares would go. Now, this land may not be developed for another 10 or 15 years, but under provincial law, we have to set aside land for new development. Uh, there are a couple of parcels on the outskirts of Stittsville near existing development where it makes sense based on future transit plans and based on where the pipes and sewers go. Uh, there's also a plan to add some employment and industrial areas designate some more land near CARP and the 417 to take advantage of the highway. But uh, there's there's land around the outskirts of every suburb of Ottawa, adding up to about a thousand hectares. What does a thousand hectares mean? Um, if you can think of a Blackburn Hamlet, maybe that's a good way to describe it, uh, that's about 250 hectares. Uh, so you have a thousand hectares, four times that size, spread out fairly evenly all around the city. There's information on my website about that. One of the most important things we're going to be doing is we're going to be directing staff to create gating criteria that says you can't even develop these lands until certain conditions are met around the infrastructure. Because uh, what I see happening now, and I'm sure you see it too, we have all these new homes being built, but we lag so far behind on the transit infrastructure and the road infrastructure. We've got to fix that. So part of this official plan process is putting in some gates, some conditions that uh, have to be met before developers can put shovels in the ground. And that's super important. Uh, one of the things that I've been pushing for, and uh, this week we'll, we'll be having a debate and a discussion on that. Again, information is on my website at glengower.ca. If you want to share your ideas and your opinions, um, you can do that for sure. And uh, you can even come out and speak at the committee. So there's information how you can do that. I'm just looking at comments coming in, which is great. I see someone's moving to Fernbank Crossing in June. So maybe you'll be uh, not too far from this park here at Rouncey Park. And, and I see a, a good reminder. There's a new, uh, if you have Bell 5, it's also on YouTube. Uh, Stittsville on Patrol, a comedy series filmed right here in Stittsville, starring Stittsville resident as well. It's pretty funny, I'll tell you, it hits pretty close to home. He plays a bylaw officer and he gets into some pretty funny situations, but some of those situations are not too different from the reality we have in our office day to day. Um, hope you have a great weekend. It's cold, it's chilly, but please try to get out for a skate or a toboggan hill or, uh, or a ski. Uh, I was out last week skiing, hoping to get out maybe today or tomorrow as well. Get some exercise, get some fresh air, keep your spirits up, uh, keep up the good work as well. We're doing really well in Ottawa and uh, I know we can get through this together. Have a great Saturday and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.